Well, I thought I would give you an update of what's been going on with the boat since I've had it now about a week and a half. I tore the uh, seat pedestal mounts out and spent a lot of time trying to get the oxidation off these things. And uh, it was weird. I'd use rubbing compound and clean them up and the next day the oxidation would be back. So I decided I wasn't going to spend any more time on that as I'd already had a few hours in each one. So I wiped them down with WD-40 and voila, the oxidation didn't come back and the color popped out. So that's uh, kind of a surprise to me. And uh, these uh, seat pedestals, pedestals, this one, I believe it, I have the seats off and I ordered new seats and they'll be coming this week. But I believe this was a cooler and because it, it has a drain for it and there was a, a little line right next to the hall where it looked like it could drain out so I think it was probably for ice and uh, this pedestal has a, like a locking uh, box on it and uh, for storage and stuff and uh, be pretty nice the main console has a seat that fits over this live well in the boat and uh, it's all hooked together and I actually got the steering system for the uh, boat and that's ready to install yeah, but I still need to clean up this console some I'll give it a, a, a quick rub and then put WD-40 on it um, the control panel was made of Bakelite and uh, I had broken it trying to knock a cigarette lighter out of it so I had a piece of wood and uh, I copied that and I'm just going to put that there as the control panel with the switches and stuff and uh, yeah it's it's you know I got a lot of wiring and stuff to do for the whole boat and uh, I'm going to talk up to you about the floor a little bit there was a couple of soft spots in this floor and uh, I had been running my torpedo heater trying to uh, you know dry it all out and it's still kind of soft and I thought well It'll probably be all right, but then I saw a video on YouTube of how to fix these soft spots, and you uh, looks like there was a seat back here where this and got soft, but you know the the boat sat outside and it rained and stuff, and that water just gets in there and, and ruins everything. But uh, I saw a video, and uh, you drill holes every three inches. There's already some holes here, obviously, around the hot, uh, soft spot. And then you use like a foam injection that hardens and uh, I don't know if it's like great stuff or, or what but uh, they say that'll firm up the floor real nice so I'm probably going to do that uh, to this spot and there's two other small spots there where it was soft but overall uh, the floor isn't too bad I've got uh, new carpeting I'm going to pick up today I had ordered and uh, so that'll be the next thing is get get the floor fixed and uh, uh, get that carpeting in. And then I can start putting the other stuff back in and wiring it. But uh, I've been ordering so many parts. And uh, I only order them as I think of them. But uh, I've got a new uh, uh, bow light. It's a little LED unit. And uh, that should look real nice. Also a stern light. Uh, and it's a fold down unit. And uh, where this thing goes, they had the old type where you uh, drop the uh, the light in to like a socket there, and they just drilled holes over it. So I'm probably going to cover this with uh, some kind of wood and stain it the same color as that control panel, and then mount that. And I picked up uh, stainless steel sheet, or uh, not sheet screws, but uh, well, they say metal screws, but they'll be for fiberglass too and some machine screws and uh, I picked up a set of push-pull switches for that control panel and I've got some uh, fuse connections coming that'll fit in that also and I picked up a boat uh, speedometer which uh, will need mounted and cut out into that control panel and I've got the uh, cable for the speedometer for that but uh, yeah, it's just been kind of a slow process. 
getting all this stuff ordered. I picked up some pieces of carpet at the dollar store. I figured I could use these somewhere. But uh, there's also uh, some areas on the boat that uh, it's going to need some attention that I'm not going to be able to, to fix. Uh, this front bow area had trolling motors and all kinds of stuff mounted here, and they just drilled holes all over the place up here. So I'm going to take the same, like a 3 8 inch wood and stain it the same color as that panel on the control and cover that area there. This glove box here, I don't know if there was a radio behind it or what, but uh, it's really nothing there. So I'm debating whether to keep that or just take all that out. They had some switches and holes drilled here and another switch here. It's, I'm going to take that on. I might just cover that with a piece of wood and stain that too. Just to uh, kind of clean the boat up a little bit from all these holes. But, uh, you know, it's coming along. Uh, once I get all my uh, stuff in, I'll, uh, I'll start up. Uh, doing that panel. I still got uh, some USB uh, plug-ins for uh, that control panel that uh, looks like a cigarette lighter, but it's a uh, covered uh, weather-protected USB. And also uh, this fish finder. This was in the bottom of the boat in the back buried in mud. And I thought, well, I'll clean it up and dry it out and stuff. So I plugged it in. I had the cord for it to my 12-volt uh, battery, and it works. It kind of surprised me. And the uh, transdu transducer is still uh, hooked up on the boat, so uh, that'll be a little added bonus. But uh, yeah, mostly uh, a lot of cleanup to do. This boat, um, the gel coat's pretty, pretty dull, and uh, I'll probably rub it down a little bit and, and see if I can get uh, it smoothed up a little bit, but the WD-40 seemed to uh, really do a good job on these uh, pedestals so that's probably uh, what I'll do. The boat has a lot of cleaning underneath uh, to do. It's pretty dirty um, but that'll all be taken care of next spring when I can get it outside and uh, get the pressure washer on it. The trailer has a little bit of a cleanup too. Not too bad. These uh, step pedestals were broken. I just took a temporary board and uh, used some uh, uh, nylon ties and uh, stuck it there so I can step up into that boat easier. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's going to be uh, you know something I can play around with this winter. Um, but uh, for the most part, it's coming along good. Uh, the tires and wheels are really good. They they look new. Uh, good tread on the tires and the wheels are pretty new. So I, I won't have to worry about that. But uh, just general cleanup uh, a lot of the stuff and getting that control panel back in and wired and uh, and stuff so anyhow thought I'd fill you in and if anything else happens I'll, I'll send you another video